Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Upper right corner, we got Svav starting as the Orange Terran. Upper left hand corner, we got Arter Turtle starting as the Green Zerg. This is from StarCon 2020. Excuse me, from StarCon 2024, and the map is Polypoid. So game one, uh, I think both these guys, a little bit off their game. Arter Turtle had a lot of room to work with because Sva, uh moving out and just getting absolutely caught over pool. Uh, Ling's out on the map. I think he was hoping to go ahead and find a 12 hatchery and be able to drop a bunker and create some pressure, but Overpool, safe play from Arter Turtle, crushing it and also getting some really good trades to start. From there though, Arter Turtle, I don't know if it was a, I know I have this game and so I'm just going to play a little bit, um, a little bit lighter or something along those lines. Talking to chat, how often do I play other games? Uh, you know, I do it to try to I usually play a separate game at night to try to cool down. And it is going to be an 8 racks again. I missed this prior. It looks like it was 8 racks to begin with and another 8 racks. But at the natural expansion, interestingly enough. We'll see if Arter Turtle opens up with an overpool once again. He's got the Overlord constructing here initially. Will I stream chess? Probably not. I haven't played chess since I was like a teenager. What I find interesting is, is it's 8 racks, but also... Kind of a front door seal in the midst of the eight racks. Also, chess is one of those things where modern chess is. Uh, I don't know. Um, I respect modern chess players, but I feel like a lot of it is memorization quite a bit um, these days. Natural. It looks like it is going to be an 11 hatch, but part of the problem with having a four player map and pulling this out is you still do need to get first. You need to get good scouting. To be able to pull this off. So, Svog, let's see if he dedicates two SCVs once again to try to find the location of his opponent. We have a second barracks down. This SCV waiting. Fallow just kind of hanging out. Did he get trapped? Is that a trap position? This SCV just hanging out. This SCV scouting bottom right. Arter Turtle scouting bottom left and the Overlord making its way. This actually could be uh, problematic for him. Yeah, SCV was caught. So, dead SCV to start. Ooh, that's a hurtful SCV to start with. In the meantime, spawning pool is just started, so it's going to have to be a pure drone defense. The SCV, he knows where to go now. Is that Overlord going to get caught? One thing I will say is a weakness in Art of Turtle's play is uh, Overlord positioning discipline. So losing this first Overlord is oftentimes a death sentence. But Sva... Maybe upon killing that Overlord is happy to escape. The drone's pulling off the line. This is a big hit for Arter Turtle. It's going to be a while before the second Overlord's out. I am shocked that Sva took out that Overlord and backed off. So he took out the... That was a game win. Okay, now he's moving back out. But he gave precious time for Arter Turtle to get the spawning pool up, get the Overlord up, and now he's going to have to deal with Zerglings out on the front. So that went from a game win condition from Sva to now an economic deficit and potentially a, a hit a hit position. So now going to build a bunker on the low ground to try to pop it in. And a few more mistakes. Sva probably could have built it at close proximity based on all this. The Zerglings spawning into fire. This should precipitate a drone pull alongside this. Okay, yeah, a lot of drones pulling. This is maybe too many drones pulling in the midst of this. So the Zerglings waiting along the edge. The drones and the Zerglings now swarming absolutely everything. Not able to kill the SCV building the bunker, but able to get a pretty good surround. One drone down, but it looks like easily going to be able to clean up the rest of these Marines and even get some bonus SCV kills in the midst of this. So, uh, get out of there, drone. So, maybe two drone kills? Two drone kills. Two drone kills out of that, not a lot else. The second bunker did finish. It looks like... Sva going to abandon it. Another SCV dies in the midst. So this is definitely going to be an advantage to Arter Turtle once again. Although Arter Turtle did generate a whole lot of Zerglings to follow up. So a bit of panic building in the midst of this. But not much defense on the front. Sva waiting to build a command center. I think he might build a command center before he seals this front door. So these Zerglings... Okay, there went for a bunker along that edge. This is a lot of Zerglings going for the counterattack. And let's see if draw, uh, Sva drops a, a command center in the midst of this. So a couple SCVs trying to plug the gap. Um, I believe both of these are are passable for Zerglings. So they're going to gather up. Able to get one SCV kill. 
having a little bit of trouble maneuvering. I'm just going to back up from there. Three Marines. I, I'm less... So I know uh, some Supply Depot gap mechanics, but Bunker versus Barracks gap mechanics, I'm a little bit less... Let's, uh, oh, Svab making his way out, which is honestly maybe a bit of a mistake. There are opportunities to lose Marines in the midst of this. You want to keep that Marine count high as far as a follow-up. But Arter Turtle has not grabbed gas, so I think he's going to go all in Zergling as far as a follow-up after all of that initial play. So I'm going to guess, yeah, looking at this, going to get sufficient amounts of drones as far as saturation, might go for, I don't know, 18? 15 is honestly sufficient. Um, no, he's just going to grab a very, very late gas at 550. This is an extremely late gas for Arter Turtle. So third hatchery before gas. Maybe if he drops both gas, he'll be able to find a little bit more time in the midst of this. So Savan, a pretty good situation here. I guess I want to say. He's got an academy going. He's got the refinery in the midst of this. But... Yeah, this isn't... Yeah, just testing the front to see if additional Marines are being produced. A little bit of missed macro. Okay, unloading. Is Fog going to go again? I think he's just trying to threaten that front. We do have a defensive creep colony built but not upgraded on the front for Arter Turtle. Now starting to harvest that gas, but this is coming very, very late. And Sva continuing the build order. Looks like it, I presume he's going to go up to three racks. And just play it safe from there. Get range, get stim. He's way ahead in his build order, comparatively. Mostly just because of how late that gas was taken. But Sva unloading with these marines and charging with them. Not sure what this action's about. Kind of opening up opportunity. Like, if there was a Ling Flood right here, I don't know what this is. Because this is definitely not out of Ling Flood territory. And if Art Turtle did go... Okay, he's going to go Lurker as far as a follow-up. If... He went for a Ling Flood, that would have been right around the time the Lings would have uh, stormed in, and that would have been another disastrous timing, potentially. But anyway, now it looks like it's going to be 3-hatch, um, either 3-hatch Hydra Bust or a 3-hatch Lurker. We have Zergling Speed being upgraded. Probably 3-hatch Hydra Bust, because we saw no Tech to Lair in the midst of this. It is possible that we'll just have a very, very, very late Tech to Lair. But sometimes what you can do in the midst of this is if you have just really, really precise target fire, the medic marines are not grouped up, you can end up in a, a pretty decent situation. We'll see if Stim is upgrading. Comsat dropped. I don't know if the Comsat caught the Hydralist then, but a second bunker would be worthwhile in this situation. Second or third. It looks like we are seeing a second and third bunker up. So we caught it. So Zergling speed, Hydralist speed being upgraded. Six Hydralisks. Now on the way, and all of the Medic Marines pushing to the front. So this is not looking good for Arter Turtle. It looks like Sva should be able to defend this. A turret just in case in the midst. And now we have some Hydralisks and Zerglings making the way to the front. Sva in a pretty good position here. Stim's finished. I don't know if plus one weapons is queued up. I don't. Yeah, it doesn't have plus one weapons, but has all sorts of bunkers to work with. Arter Turtle, theoretically, though, with this huge... This is my concern. Arter Turtle, what he theoretically could do is lead with the Hydralisks and just run by with the Zerglings and get into the main. And then get on top of this barracks line. Because this isn't... There's nothing blockading here. So there is a win condition from Arter Turtle with a run by. So gathering up some troops. Going now. The Zerglings... Not going for the run by initially, focusing on that lower bunker. That bunker's down. The Marines falling back to the secondary bunker. Also, where is Sva Troops in the midst of this? SCV's now pulling. All he has to do is hold here. Yeah, looking for the group repairs. Arter Turtle able to get some damage done. Now going to back up. Got that turret on the front as well. But Sva also missing several macro cycles. One of his barracks is in the air. Getting his factory up uh, fairly late in this build order. Plus one weapons now upgrading. Hydrals continue to attack. There's too many Hydrals, though. So that bunker drops, and the one medic wandering away with the SCVs. And a lot of his Marines are on the high ground out of this fight. So there's no attack units now on the low ground. So now all of a sudden, Arter Turtle has an advantage here. Marines stimming forward, trying to get into the bunker, not able to do so. So Sva botching the defense, missing some macro, and Arter Turtle, as a result, looks like he's going to take this. So in the natural expansion, can focus fire a lot of these SCV down, takes the bunker out. Just needs to... He does have a second grouping of Hydralisks waiting. Yeah, just needs to group up 
start attacking and go for it. So in a massive shift all of a sudden, Arter Turtle able to, to turn this around. And I presume he's going to get a win out of this. Yeah, Command Center going to die. Now all of a sudden, Arter Turtle way up economically, a little bit behind on tech because we got siege, a siege tank and everything left. But yeah, Svog and a GG right there. He doesn't have enough units to defend. So Art of Turtle with some nice macro. Sva missing. It's hard to macro as Terran. Sva dropping a little bit. And Art of Turtle going to take the series. Crazy. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.